The geodetic effect, also known as geodetic precession, de Sitter precession or de Sitter effect, represents the effect of the curvature of spacetime predicted by general relativity on a vector carried along with an orbiting body. For example, the vector could be the angular momentum of a gyroscope orbiting the Earth as carried out by the gravity probe B experiment. The geodetic effect was first predicted by Willem de Sitter in 1916, who provided relativistic corrections to the Earth-Moon system's motion. De Sitter's work was extended in 1918 by Jan Schouten and in 1920 by Adrian Fokker. It can also be applied to a particular secular precession of astronomical orbits, equivalent to the rotation of the Laplace Runge lens vector. The term geodetic effect has two slightly different meanings as the moving body may be spinning or non spinning. Non spinning bodies move in geodesics, whereas spinning bodies move in slightly different orbits. The difference between de Sitter precession and lens Thuring precession frame dragging is that the de Sitter effect is due simply to the presence of a central mass, whereas lens Thuring precession is due to the rotation of the central mass. The total precession is calculated by combining the de Sitter precession with the lens Thuring precession. Experimental confirmation The geodetic effect was verified to a precision of better than 0.5% by Gravity Probe B, an experiment which measures the tilting of the spin axis of gyroscopes in orbit about the Earth. The first results were announced on April 14, 2007 at the meeting of the American Physical Society. Formulae To derive the precession, assume the system is described by a Schwarzschild metric, but expressed in rotating coordinates. The standard static Schwarzschild metric is d s two equals d t two one minus two m r minus d R two one minus two M R minus one minus R two D theta two plus sin two theta D phi two Display style ds caret two equals dt caret two left one frac two meters r right doctor caret two left one frac two meters r right caret minus one r caret two d theta caret two plus sin caret two theta d phi caret two, where we have set c. Topic g. One in order to unclutter the notation. We introduce a rotating coordinate system with an angular velocity omega, display style omega, such that a satellite in a circular orbit in the theta equals pi two plane remains at rest. This is achieved by substituting d phi equals d phi minus Omega d t display style d phi equals d phi omega d t in the Schwarzschild metric above. In this coordinate system, an observer at radial position r sees a vector positioned at r as rotating with angular frequency omega. This observer, however, sees a vector positioned at some other value of r as rotating at a different rate due to relativistic time dilation. Transforming the Schwarzschild metric into the rotating frame with the above substitution, and assuming that theta display style theta is a constant, we find d s two equals one minus two m r minus r two beta omega D T minus R two beta omega one minus two M 
R minus R two beta omega two D phi two minus D R two one minus two M R minus one minus R two beta minus two M R beta one minus two M R minus R two beta omega two D phi two Display style ds caret two equals left one frac two meters r r caret two beta omega caret two right left dt frac r caret two beta omega one to two meters r r caret two beta omega caret two d phi right caret two doctor caret two left one frac two meters r right caret minus one frac r caret two beta minus two mister beta one to two meters r r caret two beta omega caret Carrot two D phi carrot two with beta equals sin two theta display style beta equals sin carrot two theta for a body orbiting in the theta topic pi two plane we will have beta One and the body's world line will maintain constant spatial coordinates for all time. Now the metric is in the canonical form. D S two equals e two phi d t minus w i d x i two minus k i j d x i d x j Display style ds caret two equals e caret two phi left dt w underscore i dx caret i right caret two k underscore i j dx caret i dx caret j from this canonical form, we can easily determine the rotational rate of a gyroscope in proper time. Omega equals two four e phi k i k k j l omega i j minus omega j I Omega K L minus Omega L K one two equals beta Omega R minus three M R minus two M minus Beta Omega two R three equals Beta Omega Display style Omega equals FRAC SQRT two four E carrot Phi K carrot it K carrot JL Omega underscore I J Omega underscore J I Omega underscore K L Omega underscore L K carrot one half equals FRAC SQRT Beta Omega R minus three meters R two M Beta Omega carrot two R carrot three equals SQRT Beta Omega where the last equality is true only for free falling observers for which there is no acceleration and thus phi i equals 0 display style phi underscore i equals 0 this leads to phi i equals 2 m r 2 
minus two R beta omega two two one minus two M R minus R two beta omega two equals zero Display style phi underscore I equals FRAC two meters R carrot two two R beta omega carrot two two one to two meters R R carrot two beta omega carrot two equals zero Solving this equation for omega yields Omega two equals M R three beta Display style omega caret two equals frac m r caret three beta. This is essentially Kepler's law of periods, which happens to be relativistically exact when expressed in terms of the time coordinate t of this particular rotating coordinate system. In the rotating frame, the satellite remains at rest, but an observer aboard the satellite sees the gyroscope's angular momentum vector precessing at the rate omega. This observer also sees the distant stars as rotating, but they rotate at a slightly different rate due to time dilation. Let tau be the gyroscope's proper time. Then delta tau equals 1 minus 2 m r minus r 2 beta omega 2 1 2 d t equals 1 minus 3 m r 1 2 d t Display style delta tau equals left one frac two meters r r caret two beta omega caret two right caret one half dt equals left one frac three meters r right caret one half dt. The minus two meters r term is interpreted as the gravitational time dilation, while the additional minus m r is due to the rotation of this frame of reference. Let alpha be the accumulated precession in the rotating frame, since alpha equals omega delta tau display style alpha equals omega delta tau the precession over the course of one orbit relative to the distant stars is given by alpha equals alpha plus 2 pi equals minus 2 pi Beta one minus three M R one two minus one Display style alpha equals alpha plus two pi equals minus two pi SQRT beta big left one FRAC three meters R right carrot one half minus one big with a first order Taylor series we find alpha approximately equals 3 pi m r beta equals 3 pi m r sin theta display style alpha approximately frac 3 pi m r sqrt beta equals frac 3 pi m r sin theta Topic. Thomas precession One can attempt to break down the de Sitter precession into a kinematic effect called Thomas precession combined with a geometric effect caused by gravitationally curved spacetime. At least one author does describe it this way, but others state that the Thomas precession comes into play for a gyroscope on the surface of the Earth but not for a gyroscope in a freely moving satellite an objection to the former interpretation is that the thomas precession required has the wrong sign topic see also gravity well frame dragging timeline of gravitational physics and relativity topic 
Notes References Wolfgang Rindler 2006, Relativity, Special, General, and Cosmological 2nd ed. Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-856731-8 External links Gravity Probe B websites at NASA and Stanford University Procession in Curved Space. The Geodetic Effect. Geodetic Effect.